Hi, I'm Ankit. Uh, I work for Track as one of the science officer. Uh, one of the problems that we have on the Pom Pom Island is we have a reef slope that is almost being fully blasted, just full with rubbles, and we don't have much of these solid structures for hot corals to settle down and grow on it. So in order to make some uh, artificial reef that can actually stay on a slope, we created a, something we call the step reef. So I'm going to demonstrate how the step reef work. So after we finish building up the step reef from the cross junction side, when we take them apart, we will have something like this. They will have port and gap in between. And if you look into the side of the step reef, you have a long bottle and a short bottle which eventually can sit on the slope. So this is basically the concept of it on the side wing. Uh, in our first trial of step reef, we make individual block like this, but without the gap. So they are single. And when we place them on the slope, they do stay there, but they are not very stable. When a turtle resting on it, they kind of like tumble down the slope. So what from our observation, we found that if we build a bigger step reef, they are actually more heavier and more stable on the slope. So, but to make a big step reef, uh, to carry it down to the water is very heavy. So instead of making one big block, we make a few smaller blocks, but we can join them underwater. So how it works is, if you have one block and another block next to each other, place them close enough, and this is how it looks like. We put a number across so that we know which one is next to which one. And then when we place them onto the slope, we will have something like this. We will have loops of string inside this gap. We will pull cable tie across it so that they will hold both of these blocks together underwater. And when everything is ready, we will pour wet cement into this pot. For the underwater cementing task, we're gonna prepare a different mixture of sand to cement ratio. For making bottle reef or step reef artificial reef, we use three sand to one portion of cement. But for using underwater cementing, we're gonna use two sand and one portion of cement, which is which has higher ratio of cement compared to sand. And not only that, we also add in this plasticizing accelerator so that the cement will hard even faster underwater. Building the step reef is not an easy job. It's a quite a difficult task that requires a lot of detail, hard work, as well as teamwork too. But the end result is very rewarding. Seeing the hard corals settle on the step reef and then they're growing across the step reef and then fishes start to move in, sleeping underneath the step reef, especially there's one uh, big giant more eel that has been staying there for more than a year and I call him Vicky. I really hope that this solar effort will continue in the track and hopefully one day uh, this blaster reef will come back to life, back to how it's supposed to be.